Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a back to school haul for you, including the clothes I got for school as well as the supplies. So I'm going to be doing the supplies first, doing like my notebooks and my backpack and stuff. So to get right into it, the backpack I got for this year is my basic kinkin bag. Um, I ordered it off of this weird website, so it wasn't $80, it ended up being like 40 so 50% off. Um, my friend Zoe thinks it's fake, but I assure you it is real. So, as you can see, I've got buttons on there, just a little bit of them, and then I've also got some pin, some pins down here as well. So in this fancy bag, I've got my pencil pouch that I'm reusing from last year because it's fine. I don't need a new one and it's just got like pens and crap in there that you don't want to look at. It's not that special. I realized I got a couple of these. Got purple, blue, and pink. So that's fun. Not really interesting. I've got this graph notebook because I don't want to buy graph paper and then my favorite part is definitely notebooks so this is the I got three of them that look like this um they're really cute they've got like little mystical creatures and stuff on there it's really really cute so that's the first one and then the second one I got is another really cute one. It's got little cats and like space. And then I really like this one because it's kind of like a different material. And it's really, really cute. I really love the freaking manatee on here. So yeah, those are basically my only interesting supplies. I mean, I have a binder in here, but it's literally just like one of those Target binders. So I'm not going to show you that because that's boring. So the last thing is a shelf for my locker. I don't even think this will fit in there. And I'm scared because of that. I think it'll be fine. I don't really like the color because it's a little too bright for me. But oh well, we're just going to deal with it. So I guess I'll just get right into the clothes. So... Let's get to it. So first things up is this Jurassic Park Universal Studios sweatshirt. So I really like this sweatshirt. It's super comfortable and soft on the inside and I love the orange logo on the camo and it was only like $50 instead of 70. So yeah, I loved it. So next up is Amber Crombie and Fitch. I'll just do the pants first. I got these jeans, some regular ripped jeans. Um, they're really cute. I really like them. I love these jeans, especially because they're not too tight on me and they're super comfortable. I know ripped jeans can be weird sometimes, but these are honestly great. I also got the other pair. Even though these are ankle jeans, I'm surprisingly comfortable in these and I think they would be really cute with some high socks. So next up are the shirts that I got. So I got this really cute blouse I got. I don't own a lot of blouses but this is one of my favorite ones because even though it is super lightweight it's not see-through and I don't have to wear anything under it and it's really nice because I live in such hot weather. I've got this cute polo shirt. I'm honestly in love with this shirt. It's so comfortable and it's a little cropped but if you wear it with the right pants it doesn't really show and I love the blue and pink of this shirt. Next up, I've got this cute shirt my mom wanted me to get. And after trying it on, I realized I loved it too. I love the fabric with the flowers and how lightweight it is. And I love the collar and how unique and frilly it is. And I don't know why I freaking did that because it doesn't even look like good when you spin. So, but yeah, other than that, it's great. I really love it because me and my mom have been really obsessed with watching like Downton Abbey. We're really into that like old timey like I don't know what it's called movies and shows and I don't know why any of those things I used to wear are like especially the really frilly collar not collar but whatever you understand what I mean so next up is kind of a mix because I got these all at a mall in Idaho and 
there's not really enough to do like a separate brand for each one so i'm just gonna do them all right now i'm starting up i got this really cute skirt from bone i love this skirt because to me it feels really businesswoman like um i love the top how frilly like the top of the skirt is the big buttons and the ribbon tying it all together um i also love how soft and comfortable it is i don't really like wearing skirts to school and stuff but i definitely wear it to school and last and the best part is it has pockets to put all your stuff in yeah also from bohm i got this cute maroon long sleeve um it's a turtleneck kind and of. i say that because the collar isn't all the way up to my throat choking me which i like because i don't really like turtlenecks that do that um it's also kind of skin tight as you can see but loose at the same time if that makes sense and i also love the fabric because it's super soft and it's almost got like a silk feeling to it so this is volcom camo pants so i didn't try these on for some reason and i'm not going to because it's super freaking hot outside but just imagine a pair of pants that have camo on them finally we have ripped jeans so just imagine my floor isn't dirty and these are basically just normal jeans again um they just look different but they feel basically the same as those other jeans that i got from Abercrombie. they're also from this weird obscure company and you can see me picking stuff up the floor so yeah very interesting not really thanks for watching this far please leave a like comment subscribe thank you next up is stuff from h&m um so this first one is this really cute flowered long sleeve so this shirt. is more of a business sweater it's not too soft and i think that's just for the factor of being dressier um it's really nice though i like the pattern and it's kind of loose fitting on me which would be kind of unbearable if it was tight with this fabric but it's not so that's good um next up is this cute little flannel so i've been looking for a flannel for a while just so i could put t-shirts under it um i really like that aesthetic it's not really as soft as the other one that i own but it's still pretty comfortable and it'll be nice when the weather starts cooling off. Next up is this super cute jean jacket from there. This jacket really appealed to me because of the color as well as the price. It was only like $25 or $30 compared to like $40, $50, $60 and up. Um, it's actually comfortable. I know a lot of jean jackets aren't, but this one actually is. Now... We are doing Wave Lines. Wave Lines is this really cool surf skate shop. So here's a cute striped shirt I got from Billabong. This video is really long, so just pretend like I described and told you what I like about this shirt. Okay, so this is going to look really weird because it's not tied and I really don't want to tie it. So we're just going to pretend it's okay. I got this really adorable dress. Hey guys, so I'm editing this right now and I realize how long this video already is, so I'm not going to include any of the other trying on because no one really freaking cares. If someone actually gets this far in the video, I will literally give you anything, okay? I'll give you something for free, so if you make it this far, comment below the secret password, which is freaking duck boy, okay? comment duck boy below and you'll win something special so next up is this really cute shirt from tilly's it's the imperial motion uh pocket and back t-shirt next up is this super cute skirt from romley so Last up is this really cute sweatshirt from Ivory Ella. So finally, the last thing I am reviewing is like sh shoes and socks. I'm not going to be trying these on because I don't want to. So the first pair of socks is a really cute takeout 
white socks from Stance. They are the crew socks, so they're pretty long. I don't usually wear those types of socks, but I love those. I love the cat on the front too with the little sunglasses on. Next up are these no-show socks, also from Stance. They're absolutely adorable. They're little bees. It says off right there. And I really love the color. And I love the little bees on there as well. The last pair of socks that I bought are these Adidas. They're really long. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be wearing these. Which sounds really freaking stuck up and snobby. But I got these off of Dope. And I had a $5 off coupon for anything adidas and i was scared it was going to expire and i tried getting a pair of pants and shorts and they both did not come through so but they gave me my money back so that's fine um so i got these socks instead i didn't realize they were going to be this long because on the picture they did not seem that long but they're still pretty cute so when winter comes, maybe it'll be cold enough for that. Finally, the shoes I got for this year are Vans. They don't have their laces on them, and there is a reason why. But I really love this dusty rose color, like I said before. I'll place one, like, right here while I talk. So, basically, why they don't have their shoelaces is because I sprayed them with this awesome spray called Crep Protect. You use it on your whole shoe, but you spray it on your shoe and it's a rain and stain resistant coat. So you spray it twice on each shoe and I'll show you how cool it is. So as you can see, this is my humble trash can. It's kind of nasty, but who cares? So this is my pink shoe and this is just ordinary water. So just watch. I don't even think that went in the freaking trash can. Look, it just runs right off the shoe. And when you touch it, it's perfectly dry. So, definitely worth it. Um, there might be like cheaper brands, but I know for a fact, this one is great. So, let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section. Okay, freaking. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you like, leave a like if you liked it. If you didn't, leave a comment, tell me you hated it. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which I don't know when that will be. This is kind of what I had planned and that's it. So yeah, I'll see you when I see you.